house called tomorrow. You are not 15 or 12 or 17. You are a hundred wild centuries. And 15 bringing with you in every breath and in every step, everyone who has come before you, all the youths that you have been. The mothers of your mother, the fathers of your father. If someone in your family tree was trouble, a hundred were not. The bad do not win, not finally, no matter how loud they are. We simply would not be here if that were so. You are made fundamentally from the good. With this knowledge, you never march alone. You are the breaking news of the century. You are the good who has come forward through it all, even if so many days feel otherwise. But think, when you as a child learn to speak, it's not that you didn't know words. It's that from the centuries, you knew so many, and it's hard to choose the words that will be your own. From those centuries, we human beings bring with us the simple solutions and songs, the river bridges and star charts and song harmonies, all in service to a simple idea that we can make a house call tomorrow. What we bring finally into the new day every day is ourselves. And that's all we need to start. That's everything we require to keep going. Look back only for as long as you must, then go forward into the history you will make. Be good, then better, write books, cure disease. Make us proud, make yourselves proud. And those who came before you, when you hear thunder, hear it as their applause. Good evening, I'm Scott Osterville, principal of Dozier Libby Medical High School. Tonight, we welcome you to celebrate the graduation of the class of Dozier Libby Medical High School 2020. We understand that this is a huge milestone in your life and we're happy to be able to celebrate with you, your families and friends. What a year, 2020. There's no doubt that we will all remember this year 2020 has been a truly unique experience. I have special memories of my welcome to the Dozier Libby community. I was impressed by the warmth and accepting attitude of students and staff. I was introduced to Dozier Libby way of doing things, a unique approach to the high school experience that was project-based, but seemed like a big family. The closeness of the students and staff was very apparent, and the true concern for all students' success was evident in the relationships between the students, staff, and community. What could one expect? To sum up this year, I think of a leadership principle. Change is your competitive advantage and what a change you've had to endure. Not all change seems for the better. We've had to change the way we socialize, work, and educate. We've learned to stay home, stay calm, and wash your hands. I see the future as bright when I think of the many talented students and staff members at Dozier Libby Medical High School, your high school experience, Though changed by challenges will set you up for a successful future. You've learned how to set high standards for yourself, stay positive, stay confident, and make a contribution. I congratulate the students and families on your graduation from Dozier Libby Medical High School, year 2020. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Carlos Juan Cortez. Before I begin, can we give it up for the Dozier Libby Medical High School Class of 2020? How are my classmates doing today? Just kidding, this was all pre-recorded. But I still want to say I miss all you guys. I was asked to talk about the Dozier Libby experience. This school has a reputation of being this notoriously difficult high school with an endless curriculum that prevents students from sleeping well. But honestly, they weren't lying. Even though we are in a very extraordinary moment, I want all of us to go back in time and relive the day we first went to Doja Libby's entrance and saw a thousand cows to our left, along with her right, and the Doja Libby farm straight ahead. Little did we know we had crossed over into the twilight zone. Our nights became shorter, presentations became routine, and procrastination became our friend. The work we put in was great, but the rewards were greater. 
The friendships that we formed at Doge Libby will last us a lifetime. But most importantly, Doge Libby became a part of us, a part of our individual history. Today means something different to each one of us. Some of us are relieved that the integrated projects have come to an end. Others are surprised that the day has finally come where we now become Doge Libby graduates. But in all, we should celebrate that we made it. We all deserve this moment because graduating from high school is no small feat. The Doja Libby class of 2020 started off with more than 220 freshmen, and now there is only 132 of us left. Others would say it was the survival of the fittest, but as Mr. Young would say, it was the survival of the good enough. We only graduate from high school once in our lifetime, so be sure to truly cherish this moment. As our time at Doja Libby, concludes, I believe it is crucial to remember some of the most defining moments of the class of 2020. With every year that passed, we dwelled further into the Doja Libby experience. We can all recall the emotions associated with our weekly biology quizzes as freshmen, and anxiously awaiting the results only to ask ourselves what went wrong. The times when we couldn't wait to go to history class to see Mr. Weber, or when we discovered that Ms. Peters' English class was not going to be easy. As juniors, we studied, we laughed, we studied some more, and we were sleep deprived. It was great having five finals in the same week, with an additional final that went over the entire human body. I know that my classmates can share in the joy of receiving a 120 physiology final that was even multiple choice. Senior year came around, and the course load was just as generous as before, but it was well worth it. It would be our last project as seniors where we would come together as a Doja Libby family. Or did it bring us apart? I don't remember. IES was my favorite project and is a project I am sure many of you will remember for different reasons. Each teacher at Doja Libby guided us on our journey and taught us how to view the world in a new perspective. Mr. Libby, who taught me how to view the world with an open heart and also gave me my first B. Miss O'Leary, who gave us valuable life lessons. Mr. Brown, who allowed me to engage more with my Hispanic heritage. Ms. Mandel, who transmitted her passion for helping others. Mr. Widener, who showed me the beauty in music. Mr. Grabber, who took away the Dolores of Libby's stress. Ms. Volklin, who somehow put the word fun in chemistry. Ms. Peters, who always believed in us. Ms. Graham, who was always extremely honest. Ms. Dorman, who relayed her love for literature. Ms. Ross, who showed me how to analyze human nature. Ms. Varner, who was a 2020 favorite. Mr. Weber, whose class was an easygoing, calming experience where I can unwind all the stress of the day. Ms. Angus and Ms. Piper, who encouraged me to tutor. Ms. Pearson and Ms. Hussein, who introduced me to healthcare. Mr. Ryan, who encouraged me to always dig deep in math. Mr. Young, and Ms. Martinez, who revealed to me that biology was something that I wanted to further pursue. And Ms. Nava, who taught me to apply physics to real world scenarios. To all my teachers and all the other teachers, faculty and staff at Dojo de Libby, thank you. I also want to give a little appreciation to how fast the teachers were able to adapt to the lockdown. I think we can all relate to how we were finally able to sleep in and feel a wave of extreme joy in the morning as we picked up our phones and saw our screen full of new Google Classroom notifications. As Dorsha Libby graduates, we are now able to set out to the world with the same passion, with the same dedication, and with the same joy that Dr. Dozier and Dr. Libby embodied during their careers. I am sure these two doctors would be more than proud with the class of 2020 for carrying forth their legacy. Congratulations, 2020s. The time has come. The world is ours. Let our presence be felt. God bless and take care. Let's hear it up for the Doja Libby class of 2020. Hello and congratulations to the class of 2020. When we walked out of our last class on that Friday afternoon in March, none of us could have guessed that we would graduate like this. At first, it might seem sad, not being able to see each other face to face, having to graduate through a computer screen. We may be missing out on events like senior prom or 
an in-person graduation that we thought we would experience. But instead of focusing on what we aren't doing, let's focus on what we are doing. We are graduating despite a global pandemic. Like any other class, we have gone through four years of stress, hard work, collaboration, compassion, and all the ups and downs, preparing endlessly for the wild world that awaits us after high school, college, and beyond. The journey was not, by any means, an easy one. We knew coming to Doja Libby that we would have an education experience unlike any other typical high school. Among the fields and the cows, we made countless memories in our little campus. We struggled through four long years of integrated projects and helped each other through all the tough times. In between all the many essays, projects, and exams, we still found time to make friends and enjoy our short time together. But every single one of you watching this, no matter the journey, made it through high school. There's now a blank slate ahead of you, and there's nothing stopping you from defining what you want to do with it. As we have seen in the last few months under quarantine, we have found that there's more than one way to learn, more than one way to work, more than one way to interact with each other. Likewise, there is more than one way to help others to serve, to serve your community and to use your talents for good. We are, we are at a crossroads right now and there are infinite directions where your life can go. Now, it is up to you to define what your purpose is, what you will do to be a leader of our generation and of the world we all live in. If there's anything that this pandemic has taught us, is that the world can change in a split second. As future health professionals, doctors and nurses, and no matter what profession you choose, we need to be prepared to enter a rapidly changing world and stay strong no matter what comes next. The class of 2020 will be remembered not as the class that didn't graduate, but as the class that graduated despite the conditions and that went on to do great things. In the end, we will come out this stronger than we were before with the courage to face whatever life throws at us. However, we couldn't have made it this far without the help of others. As we move forward, I'd like to thank our teachers who have given us advice along the way and kept us on track. Thank you to all the family and friends who have offered endless support regardless of the circumstances. Although we aren't able to meet in person, I hope that no matter where each of us goes, we remember all those people and friends who made an impact on us and made us feel welcome at Dozier Libby. This year has brought major changes to the, late, to the way we live, interact, and celebrate, but that does not define us. We have proved during our time at Dozier Libby that we are a class that has hope for the future. We keep moving forward no matter how hard things get and strive to be the greatest that we can be. As we continue into this world of uncertainty, I hope that you'll be as resilient as you always have been. Our unique experience at Dozier Libby has set us up to do great things in life, and we have gone too far to give up. Now it is time to, to apply what we have learned in the last four years in order to pave our own path through life and change our world in our own way, no matter how big or small. Our lives are ahead of us and it's up to us to decide what we want to do with it. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020. Class of 2020, who would have imagined when you began your senior year in 2019 that you would be viewing your graduation by a live stream in 2020? As I thought about a quote that best describes your year, the opening line of Charles Dickens' novel, a tale of two cities immediately came to mind. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Those of us who are older have pivotal world events which are woven into the fabrics of our lives. Events such as the first man to walk on the moon, the assassination of President John F. Kennedy, the terrorist events of 9-11, and now COVID-19. You are a member of the graduating class that will always have this pandemic as a marker in your senior year of high school, which is normally a straightforward series of events, processes, 
testing, activities, and more. Those are the milestones of your last year of K-12 education. While you have missed many senior events and milestones due to COVID-19, you are a member of a class who has been made stronger and more resilient during these chaotic times. You survived COVID-19. You have held your head high and continued your education through distance learning. You have not been deterred from earning your high school diploma. COVID-19 is a defining moment of your life and you survived it. You are the rock stars of education for 2020. Parents and family members of our 2020 graduates, you too are missing out on the rites of passage for your children in which family celebrations, proud photos of their senior ball, and most importantly, the celebration of seeing your child walk across the stage to receive their diploma during a traditional ceremony. Thank you for all that you have done to support our students. You two are rock stars. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, myself, Vice President Mary Rocha, Trustee Gary Hack, Trustee Crystal Sawyer White, and Trustee Ellie Householder, I congratulate each and every member of the class of 2020. It will be a year we will all remember for years and decades to come. Congratulations. On behalf of the Antioch Unified School District, it is my distinct honor to accept the class of 2020 from Dozier Libby Medical High School. On recommendation of your faculty and on behalf of the Antioch Unified School District, I have certified that each of you has met the graduation requirements set forth by our Board of Education and the State of California. Having completed these requirements, I hereby confer upon each of you the high school diploma and with it, all of its rights and responsibilities. Henceforth, you are to be known as high school graduates and alumni of Dozier Libby Medical High School. Congratulations. Greetings, friends and families of Dozier Libby Medical High School graduates. I am Mr. Libby, and I will now read the names of the graduating class of 2020. Hamza Ahmadi Bobby Alexander Sofia Alvarez Ramirez Joshua Amavizka Kaber Amin Karina Artola, Vanessa Avila, Wasim Azizi, Diana Barami, Tashie Baines Flanagan, Tamra Bedoya Morales, MD Iftikhar Buyan, Cheyenne Boyd, Irving Bravo, Paola Buendia Bonifacio, Jacob Caguyong, Fabian Castaneda Palacios, Eric Chavez, Carlos Cortez, Jennifer Cosper, Alondra Cruz, Caitlin Dang, Emma Davis, Esmeralda De La Torre, Onaya Delaney, Sam Dugao, Peace Echendu, Fred Edgmond, Tavion Edwards, Chioma Eka, Jamie Emesium, Marcus Espinosa, Tiffany Espinosa, Quinlan Fegan, Edward Fernandez II, Maximilian Fischel, Anaya Fletcher, Alexia Flores, Sofia Flores, 
Haley Francisco, Christopher Fuentes, Abigail Galacio, Elizabeth Gallen, Vanessa Gallardo Arevalo, Katerina Galli, Nancy Gamez, Alexis Garcia, Brandon Garcia, Esmeralda Garcia, Pedro Garcia, Emily Gomar, Jessica Gomez, Alfonso Gonzalez, Jonathan Griffiths, Yazari Gutierrez Torres, Alyssa Gutierrez, Gwendolyn Ha, Layla Harmon, Ariana Herrera Curiel, Diana Hidalgo, Melissa Hong, Daniel Holmberg, Alexia Huerta Ramirez, Katie Wazo, Hannah Hurst, Brandon Hune, Giovanni Ibanez, Brisa Jasso, Roberto Haudigi, Caitlin Jelich, Gabriella Johnson, Anaya LeBlue, Alvin Lai, Joshua Lamb, Gianna Lee, Kaylin Lee, Jordan Madayag, Julieta Madrigal, Esmeralda Madrigal, Valeria Madrigal, Lisa Magana, Waracela Mahizada, Nathaniel Menglemach, Jeanette Manriquez Navarro, Natalie Maravillas, Janeth Martinez, Fabiola Medina, Joaquin Miranda, Paige Monroe, Josette Munoz, Mariam Neazi, Roya Neazi, Tommy Nguyen, Udoka Nazarum, Seifula Obad, Delena Ong, David Onyanyana, Lisette Oriana, Ileana Ortiz, Monet Overton, Monique Overton, Anahita Panjapur, Pilar Pedro de la Sol, Susan Peña, Sofia Perez, Daniela Perla Pineda, Kikoa Peters, Allison Foe, Jenilyn Quintos, Elvi Reyes, Taylor Robinson, Cesar Rubio, Marcus Salamanca, Jay Salaper, Stephanie Claire San Juan, 
Joel Sanchez. Danica Saucello. Dolly Schaefer. Ethan Sellers. Aiden Serrano Flores. Bilhan Sium. Galilea Soto. Oscar Soto. Daniel Tabakovic. Hana Terran. Lydia Tekaba. Nathan Tong. Matthew Tran. Halen Valdez Howdigi. Crystal Van Bronkhorst. Amber Varner. Atzidi Via Senor. Cheyenne Walters. Imagine Weaver Sorel. Reese Whalen. Maya Wilson. Anthony Yi. That is the class of 2020. Congratulations.